Let's see how quick I can do this video. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be installing my UI, MIUI, something like that. It is a custom version of Android that's meant to imitate another OS. So on our Galaxy S3, we're going to need to download two files. We're going to need to download the ROM, which is the bigger zip file. And then you're going to need to download the smaller one, which is the G apps. Both of those uh, will be linked in the one link in the description below. So we're going to hold volume up, the home button, and the power button. And we're going to keep holding it until we see recovery booting at the top left of the screen. I messed up. So let's try that again. Volume up, home power. There we go, recovery booting. You can let go. And it'll just reboot you into uh, your custom recovery. You can use Goo Manager, open it up, grant it root if you're doing it for the first time, and then press menu, install OpenScript recovery, press yes, press yes again. It'll count down, it'll install, reboot, etc. So we're going to go ahead and wipe. All you got to do is do a factory reset. That's, that's just simply all you have to do. Do a factory reset, and then go do it to install, and you'll need to go to your external storage wherever you placed it press ok and then we'll find the my ui v5 of if you're if it's on v6 or something like that it's the same exact method you'll just need to download the newer file and then also you're gonna need the g app so add more zips and then you'll need the 2013 g apps and so we'll just swipe to confirm flash and we'll let this go through and i'll speed this up all right, it doesn't take very long to flash. As you can see, it says it's 6.01 p.m. That is not accurate. It's almost midnight here, Central Time. But it doesn't matter. It didn't take very long at all, and we're fixing to press reboot system, and that's all you got to do. Now when it boots up, we'll see if we have some kind of different boot animation, or we'll see what happens here. It should be Galaxy S3. We have a little CyanogenMod Sid guy. Let's see. Hopefully we'll have something that indicates we're on my UI. Or let's find out. There we go. That is my UI on your Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the D2 SPR, the Sprint variant. So this zip will not work with any of the variants of the Galaxy S3. You'll have to search my UI and then like if you have the AT&T Galaxy S3, you'll search uh, my UI D2 ATT. If you have the Verizon version of the S3, you'll just search my UI D2 VZW. If you have like the US Cellular, the whatever, you'll have, it's like USC or something, D2 USC. So you just need to search for your version of the my UI ROM. So let's fast forward to this. All right, so it's like, it, it worked. It was a very, it took a minute, but and it didn't like say, um, so we're gonna go ahead and just skip all this for now. All right, so this is the first look at my UI. This isn't gonna be very long. This is, um, you know, something new, so tools. We will go to settings, and we will go to Wi-Fi. Oops, didn't mean to go to Bluetooth. Wi-Fi, and then hopefully right there, I'll just connect to my signal here. All right, so I connected to my router, or I put in the password. So it's going to connect, hopefully, because I have not activated this device. I use my Note 3 as my daily device, so I really don't have a reason to downgrade to the S3. So as you can see, my UI is a totally different experience. You don't have an app drawer. You have your home screens, and you drag and drop apps onto those. And you can search up here. You drag this down, and it just has your notifications. You can swipe them away. You click here to go to your toggles, and you can turn the brightness up or down. Uh, enable auto backlight. Turn on vibration. Turn on Bluetooth. Take a screenshot. And it took one right there, so that's cool. You don't have to like hold down a button combination to do that. And then you just dismiss your notifications. So there's your phone, your contacts. And again, you just have home screens and you'd like just take stuff and you drag it into folders and you know, like this. So yeah, that's just the first look at it. You can install it, try it out. Just make sure you do a backup. When you're in Torp Recovery, before you do a factory reset and you install this ROM, just go to Backup, choose Boot, System, and Data, and then Enable Compression, change the 
the thing where it stores on your micro SD card and then back up and then go to wipe, choose the factory reset, install the ROM, install the G apps, reboot into what you are, what you have right now. So this is a look at my UI for the Samsung Galaxy S3. So just looking power off, reboot, settings, all settings, about phone, gives you the information right there. You got system updates, that's cool. So tapping on the Android version gets you to the developer options. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I have links to my Google+, Plus, my Twitter, my Facebook. Uh, I'm going to be live streaming on Ustream and Twitch TV when the new consoles, the PS4 and the Xbox One, come out here in the next couple weeks. I'm excited about that. Unboxing videos will be up the day those consoles release. I'm also on Instagram. <laughs> I'm on pretty much everything. On the description below this video, you'll see Show More. Click that, and you'll see all the links in the description below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.